But up to 18 women, uh, one man, allegedly have reported similar sexual assault stories. There have been 10 911 calls made about you. At least six police reports have been filed. The police currently have open and active investigation about you. You are a walking encyclopedia of contradictory statements. The Tennessee license to perform massages has been revoked based on client testimony. According to the Tennessee Licensing Board, uh, you've advertised for clients to come and be fully nude without drape, offering to massage inner thighs, glutes, lower abs excessively, and inviting clients to massage you back, stating discretion is important. Sexual activities with clients is prohibited by the board. There's been a hoax about a twin that you say is just a joke. There's been some story about some Tennessee lottery that you deny that you won. Uh, alleged fake death story. Uh, we've had the four leading, in my opinion, the four leading body language experts on the globe who have observed your interview with us before now and your time here on the stage who, I don't, I believe if you said it was light and day and dark at night, they would rush outside to check. Now, you asked to take a, a polygraph. Do you want to know the results of that polygraph, or you think we should wrap this up and let you head back to Tennessee? Do you know the results? I do not know the results. Yes. I'd like to find out together. Joining me now is John Grogan. He is one of the most respected polygraph examiners in the country. He's conducted over 10,000 polygraph exams, and earlier this morning, he conducted a rigorous polygraph exam with Tarek. Thank you so much for joining us. John, you've done a lot of polygraph exams. Yep. There's a pre-interview that takes place where you define your terms. Yes. Uh, very carefully and to make sure that there's no confusion. Everybody understands what's meant when the questions are asked. Did you feel like you were treated fairly? Yes. Did you feel like he took his time with you and uh, He was very, very terms? patient. Remember, he was very patient. He was very he patient with you and he defined all the terms and you knew exactly what you were answering. You felt comfortable with that? Yes. So if, if it's a a good result, and you'll be confident in it. If it's not a good result, you're not going to complain, well, you know, the, the, wasn't the, the room wasn't right, or he didn't treat me fair, or whatever. Good or bad, it is what it is. Yes, I'll respect the findings. All right. The question asked was, did you deliberately touch Julia during a massage with your genitals? And your answer was? No. The second question was, while performing a massage on Julia, did you intentionally touch her with your genitals? Answer was no. Answer was no. So you answered no to both questions. And John, what was the result? Major deception. Major deception. He, numerically, he scored where? On a seven to seven scale, somewhere way past 12, probably near 20. Okay, so in order to have been non-deceptive, he would have been between, somewhere between seven and seven, and he was like minus 20? True. This was not a close call. Correct. I'm very surprised to hear this. I don't know if there were um, any, I know there were a lot of concerns during the testing regarding how much water intake I had and sweat being produced and the timing, and I was told to do it. Uh, now, wait a I minute. Know. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Surprised. Hold on. Before we went to the results, I said, do you have any concerns about the test, about the environment, about the way you were treated, about the room, about the circumstance? Yeah. If it says what you want it to say, you'll have confidence in it. If it doesn't, you will respect it. And you said, absolutely, then you get the result you don't want. You say, well, water drinking and sweat production. And so now you want to negotiate the results. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm just surprised. Um, yes, the room was fine. He was, he was fine. Well, you, 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 <laughs> you, you didn't stay with your commitment for 45 seconds. 
Well, hey there, thanks so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, I do want to hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what's going on. You just might end up right here with me on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!